with advantages, there comes the drawbacks as well. So talking about the drawbacks of group practice. Working for a group practice or managing one may not match everyone's personality or career goals. For therapists have established his or her therapy niche and practice a less common speciality or ones that is not much demanded, they may not easily find a practice seeking their skill set. So, you know, agar aapne apna ek persona develop kar liya hai, ek aapne apna skill set develop kar liya hai, aur wahaan par uh, bahut saare loog aise hain, joh sirf aap se therapy seek karna chaah rahe hain, wahaan pe probably ye apne aap ko group practice mein involve karna, thoda sa difficult ho sakta hai. Group practice may work sometimes seems overly routine or offer less outlet to choose one's own client. At times, you can limit your group practice that you can choose your own clients to your own clients. Because the clients which are coming to you are by the routine or by the system or by the portfolio the secretarial staff has made and they are referring the clients to you according to that. So, this is your limit. It's possible to earn a higher income than with a group practice, but it is not always the case. As many factors may contribute to both revenue and profit. Bazukat aap ye samajhte hain ki group practice shayad aapko financially enrich kar rahi hai but sometimes the case may be different. Kyunki us group practice mein sare psychotherapists equally agar renowned nahi hain, equally well recognized nahi hain, to wahan shayad kuch ek ya do logon ki wajah se clients aa rahe hain aur baki log jo hain they are not being well recognized in the community. So the tendency to refer clients to other psychotherapists one knows is also a critical issue. Now maybe that client who you understand was referred to you, he went to your colleague. So sometimes it becomes a very critical issue for yourself and as well as for the client. While referring the therapist, one must offer the client a choice among clinicians and includes it at least one with no linkage to referring party. Ideally speaking, it should be on the dissertation of the client that whom he would like to opt uh, for a, a group practice rather than that we can force that you can only go to one mental health professional. Ke paas ja sakte hain. In a group practice, the therapist may have little control over any aspect of the practice beyond what takes place in the privacy of their therapy sessions. When you go to a private setup and you are giving your therapeutic service, so, on sessions ki secrecy ko, uski record keeping ko, as we have talked in detail about issues in secrecy and of record keeping, waha par koi bhi lapse akar ho sakta hai, which is beyond the control of psychotherapist. A fair dis, uh, determination of cost and service use is very important. For example, when one of the therapists is in position of power over others by virtue of being senior party and owner of the practice, like a group practice mein kaam kare hai, ek log ek ya do log bahut senior hain aur baki jo hain wo junior hain zyada earning kin ki wajah se aa rahi hai aur wo distribute kiske beech mein ho rahi hai these are the issues which may hamper the you know quality of the group practice and it can create problems from them office politics may be less of an issue in a therapeutic practice kyunki zyada tar log to apne apne sessions mein busy rehte hain unhe koi baith ke coffee ke cup pe gap shap karne ka mauka to nahi milta lekin ye ke phir bhi हम जब एक सेटअप में काम करते हैं तो देयर मे बी द इश्यूज दैट समवन फील्स दैट पॉलिटिकली देयर रिप्यूट इज बीइंग डैमेजिंग या दे आप अपने सेशन में क्लाइंट्स के साथ दूसरे थेरेपिस्ट के बारे में बात करते हैं कि जी वो तो इतना अच्छा नहीं है या आप मेरे साथ ज्यादा कंफर्टेबल फील करेंगे और इस तरह के कुछ आप वायलेशंस अगर करते हैं एथिकल रूल्स को अगर ब्रेक करते हैं यू टॉक अबाउट अदर पर्संस इन योर थेरेपी सेशंस तो उसकी वजह से भी काफी सारे प्रॉब्लम्स जो हैं वो क्रिएट हो सकते हैं if the above factors do not pose a problem for the therapist, a good practice could potentially be a good fit. If you just, you know, overcome all these issues, so group practice be ek acha, uh, jo hai wo business aspect proof ho sakti hai. According to the APA, group practice work often serves new therapists well by encouraging professional development and offering numerous other benefits as helping as one being established in the mental field. APA says that the new professional mental health uh, uh, people who are entering into the field, they get benefit because of this group, group practice because when they work with a senior and seasoned mental health professional, they learned a lot out of it. So in this way, the group practice could uh, prove to be a better opportunity for the new and emerging mental health professionals.